Well, hello guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning back on in. I'm Imperial Jedi, but of course I think you know that by now. Uh, welcome back, guys. So I, I did a little bit of off-camera building, and I was just, ac just actually tinkering around um, with this whole area right here. So uh, what I had started doing is um, I basically um, put in a new tram line, and I noticed the traffic immediately got very, 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 like, just entirely backed up and out of control, like the tram traffic. And I had, one of you actually was nice enough to draw me a fun little picture showing some um, alternate options for um, this area. So I implemented just a little bit of that. Um, instead of going underneath here, I just actually connected right here. Um, and so long story short, we have new routing for how we get in and out with our trams. And then this road is um, now only for uh, tram traffic, just to kind of cut back a little bit. So no traffic lights and proper routing, hopefully. But, uh, oh my goodness, look how popular this area is. Like, when the trains get out, just, like, gazillions of people go on by. This area, I mean, this part is probably the most bogged down, per se, because this tram has to turn left. Oh, it does not, but I don't know. I might I might reroute things um, differently, but so far, this is the best, um, best layout. And then uh, the new tram route finally makes use of these um, kind of exterior arms here. So our trams are now going deep into our little office sector right here, which is kind of fun, using this area. And I took the tram tracks off of here, and I rooted um, this tram up and over instead, and then it gets back onto um, our little makeshift highway through, um, where is it? I think over here. Oh, there it is, yeah. That spot right there. So what I'm probably going to end up doing, I think maybe in the future, when we uh, do get more trams through here is maybe put another uh, road connecting back here and then we can turn this back into tram tracks but for the moment and then um yeah special thank you to you guys who tuned into my um, episode of creating assets that was really cool so we got a few things for us to work with uh, so mainly I want to move this um, football stadium I want to move that a bit closer to downtown and uh, I want to put in some of our new parking lots and then I just want to drop some of the park and uh, parks and parking lots just kind of throughout and then I wanted to just uh, you know do the same thing over here with our, um, our stadium at our school. And then um, I'd also like to do just a little bit of work in and around here. I know we had talked about um, you know putting another road and stuff around. And had a few of you suggest some stuff too. So I feel like we're just kind of implementing some suggestions and this and that. And then an asterisk to it all. I've um, turned on the day and night cycle as well as the um, uh, the dynamic weather. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that. Well, actually, let's move this. Um, that's why I clicked on it, of course. And in terms of up here, I mean, I guess there's nothing really stopping us from putting it on, per se, this road. Um, yeah, I guess the train is stopping us. Well, okay. Forget that plan. Let's bring your, uh, a new road in. Okay, let's continue with our one-way roads. I guess those aren't really the worst option to connect to. Oop, last second, that just got a little bit crooked there. There we go. Interesting. I think maybe the slope is what um, is doing that. Okay, so that is connected. And we don't necessarily have to put in another one of those roundabouts, but I would at least like um, some type of connection going through. There we go. Does that alter that dynamic? Uh, not really. Actually, I'm going to keep that. That's kind of cool. And then I'd like to have a little... Yeah, it still works too, right? Yeah. Well, would you look at that? Okay. And then we'll curve this in. Well, isn't that just lovely? Look at that. Cool. Infrastructure is fun. And then this won't be a four-way intersection, just so it's a little bit faster. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I really like... I, honestly, that's kind of cool. I don't know why I really like that though. Uh, you know what we could even do is put our stadium right here. I don't know if we have enough room. Um, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Just barely. Okay, well, let's stretch these rails just so I don't uh, forget that those are there. And then accidentally build over the spot we need to use. And I'm going to pause because I'm sure that power connection is pivotal. It is, as a matter of fact. And, oh, of course. Duh. Um, 
Why we don't have like a little junction box or something? We could make one of those in, um, I think the asset workshop. Until this area is zoned, let's just do this though. I guess that's not tall enough. And I had a few of you suggest already a few things to build in the, um, the workshop, which is totally cool. So I'm down for trying some new stuff. All right, and I'll, um, I'll link you guys um, my little workshop page. So any of my creations will end up there. So you guys can uh, keep track of them. Okay. Let's put the speed back on. Let's try moving this. Ah, it's just so close, right? And what about if we go on that part of the road? Hmm. We also have also... Uh, double talking here. We have also this big, um... This big area. Okay. Let's think this through here. It would be nice to be downtown-ish with it. Or at least have kind of like a cool scenic view of like the field if you're... Yeah, okay, not, not the worst spot to be right here. I think maybe this can be doubled up. Some more turning lanes. And yeah, let's move this over here. And I think what we're going to do is go like that. Put a new road in. And then we're going to go off. Oh, of course it has to be not even. Oh, that's better. That can work for me. And then we'll just see if our new um, parking lots and stuff will fit back here. Oh, it looks like it, yeah. So, 4 by 6 anything that's a 6 height. Oh, okay, cool. Do one of those. Okay, get some pathways. Alright. I like this. Put this in place first. Nice. Now, I wonder if we're running out of electricity. I think so. Oh, maybe not. Then why are you telling us? Oh, um, of course. Because these are severed. You silly boy. Okay, let's just do that, because I'll, um, hopefully bridge the connection very quickly. If not, we'll just go like that. Of course, the second I do that, one of these comes in. No problem. Now, it looks like just the way the squares are lined up, that's going to be a bit uneven the entire time. Which, I don't know if it's really going to drive us crazy, but it might drive us a little bit crazy. So maybe instead we could put in the 6x6 um, six six lot. Yeah, because it, you know, it covers the, uh, the spot better, right? Let's do that. Now, I wouldn't say that's the world's biggest amount of parking for the um, stadium here, but i say it's better than nothing. But we could always put, like, another plaza. Oh, I guess we can because we're kind of limited on the size here. Well, sugar sticks. And these probably won't be in straight, right? No. Well, what if we were to put two of these in? And then go like this that and then have um just some pathways yeah and of course this has to look a little bit strange so what if we did are we gonna have room for that oh yeah we will i'm gonna click like crazy and hope to get a nice dense covering of these but i don't know if we're gonna get that lucky Alright, let me, let me regroup here, try this again. I wouldn't say that's necessarily working, but that's better. Just kind of cover the um, little unevenness. Now here, it just seems like maybe there's just not the snap point for it, or we've already put too many trees there. But I'll just take that over nothing. That's kind of cool. And then with high density all around this, that should look pretty neat. 
And you know what? Um, maybe to keep a little bit of the um, low density kind of feel as this area grows, we could always put um, one of these kind of park systems in. Maybe a few other things in place. That's interesting the way that curved. I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not yet. Heck, let's do it. Let's zone like that. Probably need some water. We do not. Pleasant surprise. But yeah, I'd like just a few open spots, just like we always kind of do. Oh, and I wonder why I can't get that. Oh, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. So what I may have to do, guys, is go back into the asset, asset workshop and have this piece go to the end of that. Because unless we have a road in place, it's going to be kind of unfinished that entire time. Same with right here. See how these don't connect? All right, well, lesson learned. I don't think those look terrible, but just, you know, if, if I fix it, and it should just update automatically um, on its own in the workshop anyway, so... I don't think we'll be really... No one will notice. It'll just be fixed for the better, I think. And then people will notice that, possibly. Yeah, because I can't connect those things. Okay. Just a little bit of a sidetrack. And then same idea here. Okay. Just stuff to be aware of for the future. But as long as part of it's connected and we can get some walking done, that's fine by me. All right, now a few more road connections would be kind of nice. That's really cool, the way that goes through. I think what would be really neat, um, I guess it's not really possible. I wanted to maybe make these just tram only, but I think I want to take advantage of the um, zoning squares, so I forget I said that. So some commercial, some residential. We're getting a little close to our um, industrial zone, but I want to make these into um, offices, just as like the buffer zone. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about that a few times now. Yeah, I think this is nice. This is cool. We can throw in a couple more. Let me try this park out now. Wow, this is big. Um, pause because of the power lines having to move. And um, I guess we'll put that always with these non symmetrical areas. Why don't we put that in the corner? Just get a side street little network going through here. I don't think we need that anymore. Power should be, yeah, we're good. Which means we can change this over to here. Get rid of that. There we go. Cleans that area up a little bit. This is giving us headaches not too long ago. Alright, a bit more people. And then just for the sake of the noise, I don't think people want to be that close. Let's do that. Okay, so three speed. Let's just admire the city at this, uh, you know, wonderful sunrise. You can see the growth coming. That's a really cool part. I like that actually. It turned out really well. This one I was much more mindful of how the um, pathways connected looks like. So I'm happy with that. And then maybe we can zone. Oh, okay, we did. Okay. All right. Um, on to our next little project. I think we should just add some um, parking over here and then again just based on another suggestion um, we're gonna I think change this back into a, um, a one-way box and just because of the rain um, I think I'm gonna keep the, um, uh, the time roll in here and whatever you just done please stop oh gosh um, that's what I want cool that should be the right directions it is not. Alright. Perfect. And for this, I'm actually going to do that. And then 
what we can do this road. I guess that can still be two-way traffic. That's fine. And then I think I'm going to remove that just to kind of make things a bit cleaner. I know it's a sharper turn, but that's okay now. <laughs> that gave us so much trouble in the past, too. Um, all right, so we still have this. That's fine. And then what I'd like is like another little area just right here for our, um, our parking lots. Which should be pretty easy peasy to put in. Oh, you know what we could also do? Um, back this up. Terraform just like we did over here and go underneath the train. That would be cool. Like underneath this train bridge. Actually, you know what, guys? Let's just turn the um, um, stuff off here. In that not okay there we go uh, and then we'll go back to our terraforming okay so from here I just carve ourselves a little pathway a little bit of cliff action which is kind of fun oh that's cool I like this everything amuses me I like it everything impresses me ain't nothing wrong with that though now, is that enough room for us to sneak in some parking lots? That's the $64,000 question right here. <laughs> Definitely not those ones. Oh, will you get out of here? That's perfect sizing. How did that even happen? Sometimes we just get so lucky. Wow, how did, honestly, how did that just happen? And that's what so we can go like this, close that loop off. Perfect. I just realized that our stadium looks like it's up on uh, stilts now, but that's actually kind of cool, though. Just the way it's like terraformed so that your entrance is flush with that. I like that. We're going to keep it. And then we could always add um, like a little, uh, I know we're going to do a district over here that has um, like hotels and stuff. Over. Great. And that'll go like that. So we'll have some waterfront shopping right there. Maybe a few buildings. Oh, and then uh, I think like a park or something would be nice. Or maybe one of these like plazas. So then district this. Excellent. And then it's still my intention very soon, um, in like the next few episodes, uh, to do some naming. Now that we've got a few districts, and I changed one more in here, so. Uh, sometime soon, you guys are going to turn on an episode, and you're going to see all these lovely names here. But just before I do that, I don't want you guys to get the wrong impression if you don't see your name come up. Like, that's not, that's not what this is about. You know, I don't think you're not, like, a supporter or anything. If you're not... You know, if you don't see your name. And just some people, they happen to stand out a little bit more in my mind than others, so. No no harm feelings, you know, or no hard feelings, I should say. And of course, this is not the only time I'll be doing it. I'll do it, like, as the city grows. Like, in previous um, uh, little Let's Play series and stuff that we've done, I've had, I've had, like, bazillions of parks named after you guys, so. You know, be tuned for that. And be patient for that. Um, okay, so this is good. I like the way this turned out. Uh, I think we'll turn our speed back on. It looks like the tram routing is not... Oh, um, I think we messed the direction of that up, that's why. Yeah, that's that's your problem right there. So that should be going this way now. Hopefully. Oh, did that remove... Um... No, okay, perfect. That's exactly what we want. Exactly, yes. Move those over just in case. We might as well connect these up since we know what they're doing. Uh, 
Oh, what are we done here? Uh, trams, of course. There we are. Oh, I guess we don't need trams in this because there's no trams going there. Same with here, no tram tracks necessary. All right. So now we can start zoning over here when our residential demand goes back up. Hmm. We have a new shopping area and everything ready to go. Awesome. Let's just commercialize this whole area. Oh, that's a really nice little addition. Okay, now just so I can see what it looks like, let's drop down um, a few of these other big parks. I guess this is the only one we haven't seen yet. These 12 by 12 parks are awesome because they are so big. Does that look even? I think so. Kind of? Maybe? Six units? Five units? Yeah, it is five units. Okay, cool. Oh, awesome. And I would like to get a road around here, but I don't want it to be too crowded. So maybe we don't need a road. Maybe we can just zone all around this and just connect all the pathways up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really fun. Look at that. How wonderful. And then just for a little bit of height and some jobs. I don't mind zoning in some of these inner parts here. Oh, it's just so fun to watch traffic and everything. Like, this is such a cool area, guys. Might be a little bit nuts. You know, we got a game going on, so when the game, like, leaves or goes out or whatever, then... Oh, boy. But I think we'll be all right because we've made our little one-way network. So fingers crossed. Very popular area. Okay, now the last thing I want to do... Oh, I also love the way this turned out. Look at that, guys. All filled in now. Oh, awesome. Another game going on simultaneously. Ooh, cool park. Very nice. Okay, so what I'd like to do is uh, just add in our little service road um, over here. Now, I think um, what would make the most sense would be a kind of a combination between a bridge and a tunnel. Just like this, going straight now, and then we'll go into the into the ground. Oh, that's cool. Almost too cool. Look at that. That works. And that saves the trucks from having to go down through here, through the roundabout, and all the way back up. So we put that on three speed. We might even see some activity oh very exciting and then i'd also like us to do a little bit of zoning over here well, that's interesting the back way in i don't think so though i think maybe just a few little offshoot roads just so we can zone Yeah, just like that, even. It's a shame we can't get this connected. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a point to running back there because it's just, you know, there's nowhere to zone off of, right? But if we go like this, then at least we can get a few buildings. And then I remember talking about going underground, but I don't know. I think instead what we can do is just bring over a road or two like this and just have like another road go under. Yeah, that's perfect. That can connect. That surprisingly lined up very nicely. These could just play musical chairs again because that just seems to be their job. 
Well, actually, the real job of these things is to help get power from one side to the other, but I don't really think we need them anymore for that. Oh, is it done? Empty, we can get that. And then as we get closer and closer to the harbor, um, like over here, we're going to be um, changing most of this over to office space. So you can put some right here. Nice. And then, oh boy, where are we going with this? Like, that would be cool if we could get um, a level crossing through here that wouldn't, like, mess everything up. I just don't trust, you know, the game enough. And you know what would be kind of neat is if we had just, like, a little... Oh, gosh. Maybe a little road like this? Just so you can get in the back way like that? Interesting little stretch right here. And then I don't want to lose this um, little bike lane bridge thing right here. So we'll just be aware of that. But why don't we go in like that. All right. Gives us a good area to work with. Oh, and look at that. It fixes their fix the little connection for us. Well, thank you very much. Just like non-factories, basically. Maybe a few over here. All right, well, three speed this, just so we can sneak a peek. And then, oh, we've lost our power connection. Well, hopefully once these buildings come in, that'll, um, that'll fix that. Why don't we just help, help out our friend right here. All right, so I'm seeing some of these come in. That's perfect. Hopefully they'll all link up. Otherwise, our poor train station is going nowhere, and it's connected. Excellent. Man, we've done like quite a bit to our our city this episode. I think for the best too. Things are looking and feeling very good. Look at our police station in here. That's kind of a neat spot for it. Kind of serve this little area. Yeah, I like that. I think maybe we'll need a fire station too over here. Coverage is actually better than I thought it would be. Alright, just one little one right there. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay, so let's put on three speed. Let's let this build up a little bit. And let's just do a once over on the areas that we um, we worked on. So yeah, let me show you a little bit more about our, our tram route and stuff up over here before we actually start that. So yeah, just anywhere on these um, roads where there is a tram station, I would just put uh, a little walking path just to get people in and out. Just so it's a little bit more efficient. Same with over here. And at the same time, I put in some trees and stuff like that, so the area just has a bit more of like a, you know, fun kind of feel, a little bit more lifelike. And I want to do this slowly throughout just, you know, most of the city. You can kind of see this area not too touched, but that side did get touched, so. Big difference, I think, right? Night and day. And then it's really neat just to see um, trams using this now. We have like our like multi-layer of overlapping infrastructure. We got like walking paths and like trains and like bike lanes and it's, I don't know, this is cool. And so all we've done now um, is force more traffic to use our six lane row, which is great. We're getting a lot of people off of here by obviously taking the cars out of there, only can only walk. Um, so I like that. I'm tempted though to maybe give these people an extra driving lane and just maybe get rid of the bus lane aspect of that like all together because we're not really, we're not really using bus lanes, right? Or switch over so that we continue with the bike lane. I like that idea to be honest with you. Musical chairs always with these things. And it has to go back. There we go. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, I think this is a better 
a better way to go about things. Because that, that way we get uh, bicycles, which is also a great thing, and we don't lose that lane, so... Oh, I just realized we lost that lovely top to our bridge. Oh well. Maybe that can be fixed. Alright. Back on the warpath. So yeah, over here, just to kind of recap this spot, just change the, um, the way the lines kind of come in. So you can see a lot of segregation. Not too many cutting in front of each other. I try to cut down on that as much as possible. We still have some room to grow down here and to bring in a few more lines on this little part. So I think we can get two or three more lines easily in here without really worrying about a headache. And then if needs be, we can always just, you know, maybe change one more thing or add one more side route or something. And then our lovely stadium. We forgot to check on traffic as it was leaving, as the game was letting out to see uh, what that was like, but I don't think it's so bad around here. It's more near this uh, the university that I'm worried about. Love this park. Love this little uh, park connection here, too. Gotta remember to go back to the workshop and edit that. Just so we have our pathways working properly. Otherwise, it's a nice little area here. It's gonna be pretty pretty mixed. High and low density, so it should be a nice little, yeah, nice little combo pack. And then just up here, out of this turnout. Quite nice, I think. Your little stadium hidden in the trees back here. Very nice. Traffic not too bad. Loving this little parking square right here. I like that these are kind of lower, like smaller buildings. Oh, and I think we made these into nightlife. We did, instead of um, making it into hotels. And it was my intention to get some hotels in here. So why don't we do a little district of hotels just like right there. That's great. That'll be really nice. Okay, and then our last little sector, which hopefully should be filled in by now. Yeah, look at that. I wouldn't say it's like the world of improvement, but I think it looks nice that it's filled in. I should take that back. Maybe it is the world of improvement. This is kind of fun too. I like that. That turned out really nice. Mm-hmm. It did indeed. All right, my friends. So I think I will leave you there. Very fun episode. Oh, we got so much done and uh yeah so keep uh, you know keep dropping those comments try and get on my radar as it were and i'll be hopefully naming a district after one of you guys but if not you know stay tuned for some more it's obviously going to happen again and yeah let me know your comments guys let me know what you think about the uh, additions to the city our new tram lines our new assets i'll link you guys the um you know little collection for the workshop feel free to use them and uh yeah definitely suggest them for me to make all right guys until the next episode, take care of yourselves and uh, happy building in your own cities. All right, all the best.